What's up YouTube? I am Michael G Crypto and today we're going to be looking at a coin called Omisego, also referred to as OMG. And we're going to be looking at specifically the OMG slash BTC pair and why I think we could be setting up for a very good buying opportunity in the near future if the scenario that I'm going to be sharing works out in our favor. So what I'll be doing is I'll be looking at this coin in a technical aspect and then we'll go to a sentimental aspect and we'll decide what the large retailers are currently doing, whether they're shorting it or longing it. And then we'll decide together if this is a good buying opportunity for us. Okay. So first on the technical aspect, we'll start off with the daily aspect, then the four hourly and then the hourly. And then we'll try to find the best entry for Omise Go. So on the daily aspect, what I'll try to be doing right now is I'll be, uh, I'll be marking up the charts. Okay. So I'll just do a simple Fibonacci on the technical aspect for Omisego and I'll try to find uh, where we're headed for this coin currently, okay? So uh, Omisego is attempting to go to the 50 to 61.8 Fibonacci area currently. And as you see, it wasn't able to do so. I also mark up some horizontal zones that corresponds with the 50 region, which makes it a very strong resistance zone. Also, if you look closely, uh, Omisego is also um, forming an uptrend channel. I'll go down to the four hourly now to uh, make sure that the trend line is touching appropriately. Okay, so it's touching all the all the, um, the the support regions at the bottom. So there you go. That's what's happening on the trend line. So it is currently on a support zone. Um, that's also in conjunction with a previous uh, resistance slash support zone, as you see over here. So it did respect this area once, twice, three times, four times over here. And now we're currently in a support zone. So we are in a, a major key level, in my opinion, support zone. Okay. Um, also, we try to do is we just try to see what Omisego is currently doing. So as you can see, uh, Omisego is making a downtrend on the short term. So it started off over here, it touched it once, it came closer to the trend line, hit it twice, three times, four times, and it's currently in this major pocket or support zone. And so it has essentially two choices right now. Omisego can essentially just keep following this path to the downside, okay? Or Omisego can decide to break through this, uh, this downtrend and make a higher high, then forming a higher low, and then moving to the upside. So there's two scenarios for Misego, which is A and scenario B. Um, what we like is for scenario A to work out. That way you can get into a very nice long position for Misego. Okay. And if I, what I'll also do is I'll just draw out some major resistance zones for Misego. So this will be the all time high. And then what I'll try to do is I, I use the Fibonacci tool in order to decide where my next take profit levels will be. So there's cl clearly one take profit area at the 272 region, which corresponds to the 50 zone of the Fibonacci, as I spoke about earlier. And there's another one at the 618 region, which again corresponds to the 618 region, which is a major resistance zone. So these two are major resistance zones. And if the scenario works out, I can potentially see us going to this region and that region, just because so far for Misego, we have been making higher highs and higher lows consistently, right? So higher highs, higher lows. And so you would expect the next one to also give us a potential higher high just because of the, the historical pattern of Omisego as well. So I could see the 1834 region of the BTC pair uh, getting hit and the one after that as well. And I would potentially be taking profits over here at the 1665 region, which is uh, clearly seen over here with the BTC pair and this region over here. So those would be my two take profit regions if this play gives us what we want it to give us. Okay. Uh, and just and also just because of the undecisiveness of BTC right now, uh, it might not. It might go straight down because the space is very volatile. So I'll only be entering the trade if it uh, does essentially this. If it breaks, makes a high high, then breaks lower and makes a higher low, and that's when I'll decide on entering this trade. Okay. And also I'll just take a look at how much profit we can potentially make if this trade works out. Um, so, th so the first take profit level that's a fifty percent uh, increase of our portfolio and the next one is a 65% and the one after that would be an 85%. So this is considered a very good trade if it ends up working out the way I want it to work out. Uh, so we wait and see, we just have to wait at this point and see uh, what happens in the next few hours of OMG BTC. Okay. 
Uh, now we just look at the a quick fundamental aspect and what is OMG. OMG currently has a market cap of almost 900 million, which makes it a very large uh, market cap coin. So it's a mid to large size market cap coin. It's ranked number 73 on coin market cap. And uh, so it does have some good fundamentals in that aspect. So it, it is a legitimate coin because no investor is going to want to invest a, into a coin that has, you know, uh, no backing as such. And it is a very large, it has a, a, around $900 million worth of market cap, which makes it a legitimate coin in my eyes. Um, if you look at the Binance futures and what the large retailers are doing currently for OMG, uh, so basically large retailers, you can find this on uh, Binance Futures uh, trading data under the trading data section. And essentially what they're doing is um, right now on all time frames, uh, traders are longing OMG BTC or OMG USDT. Okay, so there's an 87% long ratio compared to a 12% short ratio. This makes it a 7 to 1 long to short ratio. And you can see this on every time frame. So that was the 4 hour time frame. We go to the 1 hour time frame and there's a 7.3 to one long to short ratio on the one hour time frame. Okay, over here as well, there's a top trader long to short ratio positions, and right now currently it's a one to one. We look over here as well, the long short ratio. That's the one hour, and now we go to the four hour, and we'll see what OMG is currently doing. And right now that's a ninety percent uh, long ratio compared to a ten percent short ratio. So currently the whales, the large institutions, the large retailers, they're all currently longing uh, OMG. Uh, right now, which also shows us that the sentiments are uh, towards the upside and uh, the structure also is at a major support zone. So we just have to wait and see if scenario A plays out because that will be the safest scenario to get into this trade, in my opinion. Okay, just because, again, because of the undecisiveness of BTC right now, I'll wait for this to work out first. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that. If you guys like videos like this, where I really break down a coin from all aspects, where I go into the technicals, the fundamentals, and the sentimentals, and I really give you an all-around image of what the coin will be doing in the coming future, feel free to subscribe below, because I'll be putting out a video on a daily basis. All right, guys, thank you again. Have a good one. Bye.